Uh, Ross, in the end, uh, a disappointing end to the game, wasn't it today? Yeah, frustrating. Uh, lads are disappointed in there. We're all disappointed. Um, frustrated. But we know we've got another game now Monday. We've got to reset and focus on Monday. I suppose the nature of it, it feels a bit flat, feels like a loss, but that shows what we've created so far this season, doesn't it? Yeah, and that, that says a lot about us as a group and how disappointed we are because we know the standards we've set and it's disappointing not to keep that winning run going, but we're still unbeaten. There's only one goal conceded in four. Uh, we just got to keep focusing now and, and bounce back on Monday. And so like the gaffer said, if you'd offered 10 points from the first 12 available, you'd have snapped their hands off at the start of the oh. season, wouldn't you? 100% and we're still a work in progress, we're still improving, we're still learning, still getting better. To, t to have that start, it, it's massive and we just got to keep building on this now. What kind of game was it out there for you today? It was tough, very physically demanding, uh, especially it was quite warm out there as well today. Uh, but they make you defend, they force you to defend, a lot of long throws and set pieces, things like that. So we had to be strong and, and stand up to that and felt that we could have dominated the ball a little bit more and be a bit braver. But like I said, we're still working, we're still learning and we'll, we'll get there. Oh, goal in the, just before half time. It, it seemed a bit bizarre at the time. What, what was it like for you on the pitch? Yeah, I was in the box. I was panicking, ready to sprint back. <laughs> I thought his lad was going to nick it off, skip stones, and just run 60 yards. So I'm not 100% sure there was rumours heard on the pitch that the referee had said that he's not allowed to move until he's touched it. Um, I'm not sure, but we just made the most of the great delivery and Boise heading it back across. Yeah, Danny gets three and three now, and that's him off for of running, isn't it? Yeah, massively. Danny is always in the right place at the right time. and buzzing for him now, it is really flying in, just, just got to keep it going. So you game Monday, as you said, not much time to recover or think about the, the result really? Is it? Yeah, like I said, we, we've had a quick chat in there about it, but we'll show after, after Monday's game, we'll look back, but we need to really focus on, on recovering now and making sure we're ready and ready as can be, physically ready to go on Monday. How do you tackle that as a player? Because obviously normally it's a recovery day, then you're back in for a recovery session, but it's pretty much back in and off we go again, isn't it? Yeah, so Liza, we've all been given recovery programmes now to, to go home and crack on with and we'll rest up tonight and we'll be back in tomorrow for a little session just to try and recover as much as possible. There's no way we can fully recover to be 100% from Monday, but lads are willing to, to make the sacrifices and, and be ready to, to put the bodies on the line to, to get us three points. So she was obviously on Monday away, um, a team that are full-time, a team want to be up there as well, so it'll be another tough one, won't it? Yeah, another tough game, probably full-time team against a full-time team, so... Sure, it'll be a good battle. It's a tough place to go, but we're, we're ready and focused to, to go and get three points. And for you, obviously, still in the team running with, with your minutes, how are you finding it so far? Yeah, good. Really, really enjoying it. I um, feel like I'm finding my feet and improving with, with every single game. It's demanding the role, but I feel like I'm getting stronger and stronger with every single game.